Horizontal and Vertical Pursuit. This time you want to assess slow, smooth eye movement. So ask the patient to follow your finger, keeping their head still. Even people with normal pursuit are usually better at doing horizontal rather than vertical movements and performance is affected by age and attention. You may need to do the test more slowly with an elderly patient. Pursuit may be impaired in one or both directions. Peripheral vestibular deficits do not affect pursuit unless there is a very strong spontaneous nystagmus. So abnormal pursuit suggests central, generally vestibulocerebellar involvement. This patient has impaired pursuit on rightward eye movement, but intact pursuit to the left.